Good morning to one and all, and welcome here to St. Odelia's. Our opening hymn for this morning can be found at number 262, Sing with all the saints in glory, 262. Please stand. Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow were stark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we gather here on this March 19th, perhaps a surprising opening hymn, since it's normally for the Easter season, but... We celebrate as a universal church today the solemnity of St. Joseph, one of the great patron saints of our faith. And so we ask for his prayers, for his uh, protection, for his overall intercession for us as we grow in this journey of faith in this season of Lent. At the beginning of this Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins and strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And on this great solemnity we pray, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir upon, after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David. I have made a covenant with my chosen one, and I have sworn to David my servant. 
Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The Son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain your kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who was called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, She was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, this is a very sacred and solemn day indeed. Instead of wearing the traditional purple or violet, we've got the white on for today. Um, We also prayed the Gloria right after the penitential act. Uh, There was also a second reading that Mark had proclaimed for today. And then actually after the homily, before the prayers of the faithful, we even professed the creed. So this solemnity is something that the church raises up liturgically to a very high degree. In fact, a solemnity is the highest of all liturgical celebrations. And very fittingly so, since St. Joseph had such a prominent place within salvation history. He was, in some ways, kind of the culmination of some of those prophetic passages from 2 Samuel that we heard in that first reading. Ultimately, we know that the culmination is in Jesus himself, but St. Joseph was from the line of King David. And so uh, we repeated that again and again within the responsorial psalm about the son of David will live forever. Ultimately, Jesus is the one who grants that eternal life. 
St. Joseph, like we heard in St. Paul's letter to the Romans, was that righteous man following in the tradition of the faith of Abraham, the patriarch of the tradition. And so we look and see that faith of Abraham, his perseverance with Sarah, and we look at that perseverance and that faith, that confidence that St. Joseph had, even when it was very surprising, the order of events. So he had that dream there, and he was thinking about separating himself from Mary. According to the Orthodox faith, it was not because he suspected Mary of any infidelity, but it was actually because he suspected in his heart of hearts that this was some sort of angelic, some sort of heavenly grace that she had received, and he didn't feel himself worthy. And that's where, again, the message of the Archangel Gabriel in his dream was, don't be afraid, Joseph. And so he had that courage, that hope to persevere. We ourselves are getting closer and closer to the celebration of Holy Week, to the celebration of the Lord's resurrection. And so we ourselves have that same message to not be afraid, to keep pressing onward. And through the intercession of St. Joseph, may we as a people, at the personal level, at the communal level, continue to grow in our friendship with Jesus, continue to let him into our heart of heart that we ourselves would one day join St. Joseph in the heavenly kingdom to praise Jesus there forever and ever. Amen. As I mentioned, I invite you to please stand now as we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We lift up our hearts, prayers, petitions, our intercessions, all of those needs that God knows that we have with confidence in his gracious goodness and mercy. That the church may continue to grow in number and faith as she bears witness to God's kingdom here on earth, we pray. That all government and civic leaders may be endowed with wisdom and prudence, we pray that husbands and fathers may be blessed with the courage, righteousness, humility, and faith of St. Joseph. We pray that all of us gathered here may be emboldened by the Holy Spirit in following God's call for our lives. We pray. And for all who have died in our Mass for today, we pray for the repose of the souls of Aaron and Gregory Joseph that all may come to soon live in God's kingdom forever, we pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, you know the needs of our lives, those we have spoken and those within the depths of our hearts. We ask that with the grace of your son Jesus, through the intercession of Saint Joseph and the outpouring of your Holy Spirit, we ourselves would continue to grow in this journey of faith. We make all of our prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, with Joseph and Michael, his assistants, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you all. La paz. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Well done, good and faithful servant. Come, share your master's joy.
Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Very good to pray with you all on this solemnity of St. Joseph. His very name from the Hebrew means God will add. God added many graces and blessings upon his life. Even when there were different challenges that came his way, God provided for Joseph and our Blessed Mother and Jesus, the Holy Family. So we have that hope and confidence that indeed God will provide for us too in our time of need. As we close our Mass and begin our time of adoration, we'll sing with number 86, the O Salutaris, the English version in our hymnals. I invite you to please kneel as you're able. O saving victim opening wide, the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name be endless praise. Immortal God had one in three. O oh, grant us endless length of days when our true native land we see. Amen.
Lord, please help us to reflect prayerfully on our ongoing intentions for our prayers, our spiritual leaders, and our families. Please advance our prayers of the rosary to advocate for truth, for life, for justice, and peace in our world. Please grant all the heartfelt intentions we carry in our souls according to your holy will. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Rosary. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, the Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. Third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as is in heaven. Three Hail Marys for the increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord's with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sorrowful mysteries, the first sorrowful mystery is nagging in the garden. For all who are suffering from abandonment or neglect, that compassion in the individuals will come forward to offer them comfort in aid. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to your Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar, that the victims of violence, torture, and slavery will be delivered from their suffering, find healing, and know that God is close to them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit. Thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns, that the persecution of Christians will end in a new era of tolerance and respect for the religious freedom and conscious rights of all. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth alpha mystery is the carrying of the cross. For all who labor under burdens that seem too great to bear due to illness, age, poverty, cruelty, or injustice, and our prayers and, and our prayers and aid will lighten their crosses. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. For the release of all prisoners of conscience and all who have been wrongfully convicted, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of Thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls in heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of me. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. After this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, that his life, death, and resurrection has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant and beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may obtain what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, hail Mary, the glory be for the Pope and his intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Memorari to our Lady of Guadalupe, remember, O most gracious Virgin of Guadalupe, that in your heavenly apparitions on the Mount of Tepeyac, you promise to show your compassion and pity towards all who love me and trust in you, seek your help and call upon you in their necessities and afflictions. You promise to hear our supplications, to dry our tears, and to give us consolation and relief. Never has it been known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought intercession, either for the common welfare or in personal anxieties, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we run to you, O Mary, every virgin mother of the true God. Though grieving under the weight of our sins, we come to prostrate ourselves before your presence. We fully trust that standing beneath your shadow and protection, nothing will trouble or afflict us, nor do we need to fear on the list of misfortune or any other sorrow. 
You wanted to remain with us through your admirable image, you who are our mother, our health, and our life, placing ourselves beneath your maternal gaze and having recourse to you in all our necessities. We need you nothing more. Our Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hand answer us. Amen. St. Michael Prayer. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and the Holy of Spirits, prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of the souls. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.